What's going on guys, Bob Buskirk here at Think Computers and I'm showing you the BIOS here on the Aorus Z270X Gaming 9 motherboard. Now this BIOS has been completely retold by Gigabyte. So if you saw, if you saw our previous videos with their either their X99 or their Z170 motherboards, this BIOS is completely new, at least it seems to be new. Um, and they kind of got rid of that HD BIOS that they were going for before. Um, so when we were brought into the BIOS, we're brought to this screen, which is kind of like the advanced screen. So if you're a first time user, you can actually either scroll down here, um, or if we get out of here, you actually hit the alt button and it brings it back up and we can actually go into easy mode. So we'll go there first. And this is sort of our easy mode. So you can see the information on the motherboard. You can see the BIOS. We're running the latest version of the BIOS, which is the F3R. You can see what processor we have inside, the speed that it's running, our memory, memory information, boot sequence. We only have one drive connected, so that's the one right there. Our CPU temperature, our vCore, and our system temperature system temperature and our SATA information and then fan information smart fan 5 which we can click into which I will you can turn Intel rapid storage technology on or off and then you can set the easy OC so you can set it um, you know it's at normal right now but I believe you can set it to eco and then like a simple overclock you can do all that within here smart fan 5 which I'll go into um, allows you to set your own fan curve you can set uh, CPU fan control like you know silent manual full speed you can do a lot of different stuff like that you can do temperature warning controls for the cpu as well as the cpu fan fail warning um you can see we have zero rpm that's because we have an aio hooked up so it's not reading the actual fan speed for us um then we have to have all of our information on our temperatures right here um you can see these ec temp one and ec temp two those are actually for the probes which we do not have connected to this motherboard but we'll go out of there and we'll go back to this classic mode. And this is where you're really gonna dive down deep into the BIOS. So as I said, Gigabyte has completely redone this BIOS. I was not a fan of the HD BIOS just because it just never seemed like it was finished. Like they worked on it and then they just decided to stop and not everything was there and it was harder to find things. And it was just a lot going on. So this should be a, a lot easier for people to find different settings and, and you know, make changes and do all that so there are a couple things missing which i will mention but um we'll go into it so the first screen that you should have been brought to is the mit and that's where you're going to do all of your overclocking or tweaking so if we go in here you can set our cpu base clock um they have auto cpu upgrades so like auto overclocking so you can go in here and you know go ahead and set the different upgrades if you want your cpu clock ratio advanced cpu core settings of course that is where you're gonna set everything so this would be setting your intel intel turbo boost technology package power limits all that kind of stuff you can go ahead and set in here and um you can go into your memory uh, frequency. I don't have memory that has XMP profiles, so we would be able to change this, but it's just set at 2133. We'll go out of there and advanced memory settings. Of course, you know, we can change this, I believe, if I type in whatever I want to type in. I, I will be able to change it if I wanted to. Um, you can set your timings and everything like that. It's set to auto, but you can go ahead and set your timings and you can set your sub timings as well, as you can see in here. You can go ahead and do that. Advanced voltage settings. Uh, these are all your voltages to do with different parts of your motherboard. So the power settings are first. So you can set like your load line calibrations and things like that. Um, your phase control. So if you're doing some type of overclocking, you can set these to what you would want them at. CPU core voltage is everything to do with the CPU as far as voltages. So the main one that you're going to be wanting to change is the V core the chipset voltage uh just the pch core voltage is what you can change and then the dram voltage of course you can set your dram voltage again if you're not if you are using memory with xmp profiles it should all be set for you so you shouldn't have to do it um, but for us we're just using a blank ddr4 with no xmp at all out of mit we go into system and this gives you information on your uh, motherboard the bios version everything like that uh date and time, language, and uh, your access level that you have. Going over to the BIOS, there's just different stuff you can set, like you can set your boot option here. You can set if fat, fast boot is enabled or disabled, your mouse speed, which actually I should turn up. Let's turn this up to three, there we go. Um, 
that's pretty cool you can change the mouse speed because I thought this mouse was actually going extremely slow. Um, and everything I'm doing, you can use the mouse or you can use the keyboard. I like using the keyboard, I'm just old school like that. Here you can also set your user password and administrator password as well. Going over to peripherals, this is pretty much everything that's on board that you can set. I'm not gonna go into everything, but just to give you an idea of some of the things you can do, you can set up RAID. Um, you can turn off the LED, so there's a rear, rear panel LED. The, uh, oops, the, um, there's two RGB LED headers, so you can have those enabled or disabled. Um, you can go into RGB Fusion, and you can actually set the LED colors, um, and you can set the, um, the mode, so like pulse mode, color cycle, static mode, flash mode. Um, the software goes even more in depth, but if, if you don't want to mess with the software, I guess, you can do this, and this sets it throughout the board. So this is every RGB connector. I'm pretty sure with the software, you can do it by different zones, but this does the entire board. Um, and then you have like Thunderbolt configuration, all this different type of stuff, NVMe configuration. You know, depending on what you're installing on the board, you can set all this stuff up. Under chipset, there's just some things that you can change if you want. You can turn internal graphics on or off. I always just leave it on auto, um, just in case you want to go ahead and connect that. And then you can turn your audio controller on and off as well. Under power, uh, there's just some different power things like, you know, resume by alarm type stuff, uh, power loading, all that kind of stuff, power on by keyboard, you can settle that. And then finally under save and exit, the one thing I like here is we have our load optimize defaults. Um, so if you mess something up, I've done it a million times, I just need to go back to the complete default. You just, you know, select this and it will load your optimized defaults. Another thing I like to see is this boot override. So if I'm installing Windows from a USB flash drive, but I only want to boot to that drive the first time, not the second time, so I have to take it out. Um, this is awesome. So I go ahead, boot into my BIOS, do all my settings, select my Windows boot USB. It will boot to it once and then it's going to boot to my Toshiba drive after I do my installation, which just makes things so much easier. You can save and load profiles. Now, the one thing that I do seem is missing, well, before I do that, I'll show you one more thing. So down here, um, we can go into Smart Fan again. We can go into Q Flash, which allows you to flash your BIOS. I flashed this BIOS before I did this video. It's extremely easy to do. Um, you just put the BIOS on a flash drive and you select it, it's super easy. Um, and then under CPU here, uh, it just gives you your current information on your CPU memory and voltage, so you can kind of toggle that on and off. Now, the things that I, I feel that are missing on this is that one i don't have a favorites menu i love so many bioses that give you that option for a favorites menu just because if there's a setting that i'm always changing i'd like to have it in a main screen right here just be perfect if instead of you know one of these it says favorites i click in there and i have the five settings that i change all the time instead of having to dive down also i do notice this bios while it's not completely noticeable it lags slightly um I, it's not as snappy as other BIOSes that I've seen. This is the first Z270 BIOS, so I can't say about other Z270 BIOSes, but the BIOSes from X99 and Z170 are much more snappier than this. So if you have any questions about this BIOS, again, this is running on the Aorus Z270X Gaming 9. This BIOS should be pretty much the same through Al's Gigabyte and Aorus's Z270 motherboard line. So if you have any questions or comments or anything like that, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. Till next time, catch you guys later.